Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Goliath TV. My name is David, and today I'm continuing our build on the starter home here. I chopped down a good bit of trees, I got a bunch of wood ready, and I'm ready to expand this building. Now we're gonna need more space for storage and crafting as we get more upgrades and we'll get more shit that we can't put anywhere, because so far we only have one box. I did put another box in by the fire. Right here, but we're gonna need more chests and I can't just hide them underneath the house forever. So I like to start, just keep doing what I was doing. Two by threes is the best, like, is for me. Because that's what I started with. I started with a two by three. So I'm just going to expand in two by three chunks. Alright, the floor down. Let's put the floorboards on so we can walk on this thing. Being my wood is down here, I'm just going to keep this open for now until I get my all the wood out of there. Also going to make a spot for the stairs. I'm putting them right in the same spot. I think it works. Now expanding, I like to start with the roof first. Starting with the roof can, you know, let you see where you're going to put your walls. I'm going to keep the same shape as the roof I'm already making. So it looks like a 45 over there. And then with a... Smaller top. It's a 26 top. Can I get it on there? If it can work. Oh, no. Now that the frame for the roof is on, we can lay the roof on. I'm gonna put the uh, new roof on before I get rid of the old roof. Just to keep the crafting table in one piece. If I need to repair anything. And now that it's and with the roof on, it should look something like this. After the roof, we can start with the walls. Um, I'm not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the chimney where it's at, keep the fireplace where it's at, and just just move the walls out. Now, if the walls are on, you should have something like this if you're following following along with me. Again, this is just kind of showing you the building process that I take while building houses and maybe give you some ideas for your own builds. Uh, the best part about this game for me is honestly the building, how creative you can be with it and how, how neat it can get. And right now this building is pretty, it's pretty basic. It looks pretty basic, it looks kind of just like a normal ass hut. There's a lot of things that you can do to spruce it up if you have the extra material for it. Alright, now all those walls are gone, it's pretty open in here now. I'm gonna move, the first thing I'm gonna move is the workbench, which over to this wall. I want it on the wall facing the front of the house because I'm going because you can put the upgrades on the other side of the wall and they'll still reach you see that golden uh, pixels the golden pixels going towards the crafting table that means it's close enough for it, the crafting table for it to use so like this I'm gonna put outside the uh, chopping block I'm gonna put it outside and other stuff I can put in here now if the crafting table's moved I can get rid of the old one and next thing is storage. Now storage can be done in a bunch of different ways. You ain't got to do it any specific way. But there is a way of doing it to make it organized for yourself. It depends on, you know, if you're solo, if you're with friends, on how you're going to do this. This is my solo storage room. That's how I build mine. I'll close it off by the wall. Make sure the walls are closed off here. This top part. And I'll put a pole in here, just to make it, you know, not look like a weird wall. I'm going to use these one meter poles to make shelves. Simply by doing this, adding a beam, and on that beam I can snap these floors to it. Get rid of the beam, and snap more floors to this side. And you can get rid of the poles too, uh, they'll still stand. I just like having them, they look 
nice, I guess. You know what I mean? They look, it looks more realistic-ish. I also put these walls here. You don't have to put walls here. I just, I like having it closed off. It is a little tight, and it does make it a little harder to get these boxes, but if you place them right, it'll be fine. This is one way to do the storage room, and it's, uh, I mean, it's a little tight. It's a little small. It depends on how you like to play. If you like big open rooms, make it a big open room and just stack your boxes the same side on, the same kind of way, but make it open. Uh, whatever your preference, really. But uh, I, I like it this way. You can you can still reach all the boxes you can get in there. I don't have enough wood to make more boxes. And this, this kind of layout should be enough storage for a good while. Y you're going to have a lot of storage if you fill this entire room with boxes. But this should be enough room for most of your... I don't know, if you're going into the black woods, you're kind of in that sort of situation. If you're going into the black forest, it's kind of... it'll work for that. You know, getting your first boat, getting all that stuff done I think it's a good it's a good it's a good house it's a good size for what you're gonna need all right and now that you got the walls on you got the roof on and you did the inside you should it should all be done for now anyway I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like and a thumbs up and uh, you know subscribe do whatever you gotta do it's free you don't have to <laughs> y'all have a good one and I'll see y'all in the next video peace